For us, all violence against sex workers is avoidable. A coroner's report released Tuesday finds the death of 22-year-old Marilène Lévesque, a sex worker who was killed in a Quebec City area hotel room in January 2020, was avoidable. Lévesque beaten and stabbed to death with 57 wounds by a man who was on day parole after having previously murdered his wife. Lévesque's murder sparking outcry across the country. Now the coroner recommends corrections Services Canada make it mandatory for offenders having been convicted of murdering their partners wear an electronic tracking device upon release. The ankle bracelet uh, is something that uh, women's group have been uh, demanding for some time as part of a concerted uh, effort to uh, increase security around women who are uh, victims of domestic violence and uh, as a deterrent uh, to uh, these men who uh, uh, commit the crimes. Ustachio Galais, who pleaded guilty to first-degree murder in Levesque's death, had been on day parole since March 2019 after serving 15 years of his life sentence for the 2004 murder of his wife. He was living at a halfway house under conditions. Parole board documents showed Galais was allowed to see women to have his sexual needs met, which triggered a full federal probe after Levesque's death by the commissioner of the Correctional Service and the chair of the Parole Board of Canada. They addressed it very badly by preventing him from having relationships with other women, but authorizing him to go see sex workers. That was a very bad decision. Uh, but it's not a bad decision because sex work is bad. It's a bad decision because this man was violent and dangerous. Coroner Stephanie Gamache recommends ankle bracelets for past offenders, saying it would verify whether they're following conditions. But advocates for sex workers say though Levesque's murder could have been prevented, this method won't eliminate these types of killings. Perhaps if this man had a bracelet on, he might not have gone to hotels because that might be too suspicious, but he was still allowed to go out. And so maybe he would have targeted a street-based sex worker instead, or maybe he would have targeted a sex worker who works from home so that it doesn't look like a suspicious location. Wesley says if sex work was decriminalized, workers would be safer and able to call police on violent clients. This man was violent in the massage parlor before killing Marilene Levesque, uh, and they weren't able to report it because uh, you can't do that when you're in a criminalized industry. The coroner's report also touched on the murderer's inadequate rehabilitation in prison. Seeing that when uh, men commit targeted acts of violence against women and against sex workers, um, a lot of times when they're just essentially warehoused in prison for however many years where they only interact with other men there's no deep analysis of the misogyny and the hatred of women behind that kind of violence. A federal investigation concluded last January, Correction Services Canada missed warning signs from Levesque's murder. In a statement to City News, Correctional Service of Canada says the CSC will review the recommendations made in the coroner's report relating to the death of Marilène Levesque and give them our full consideration. CSC can require that an offender wear a monitoring device, i.e. ankle bracelet, to monitor or their compliance with a condition of release. This condition can restrict an offender's access to a person or a geographic area, or it can require the offender to remain within a geographic area. It shouldn't be about, you know, catching them easier when they do commit violence. It should be about uh, finding ways to prevent it. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.